So there's the template. Just did a one inch radius there for fit on the tube. And as you saw, put it on the tube, put a wood drill bit because it has this point through and poke the end of it. And I got the center point. So that's all I'm going to do for the cardboard. I'll drill the hole and then round the corners into steel. I don't see a point of doing it on the cardboard when I can just lay it out on the steel itself. But do this three more times for the other three mounts and then make it out of steel. Here's my steel. It's, um, I think it's an eighth inch or is it a hundred thousandths? Eighth inch, 4130. And I have my two templates. So these don't, they overlap a little, but these edges burn off when you weld anyway. So I'm going to end up actually, I always grind those off into a little curve anyway, because when you try to weld that, it just burns away so quick. So I give it a little something to be able to tack onto. So that's not going to matter that those parts overlap, so I can use the smallest piece of metal possible here. And what I do, technique only, my technique for me, is I drill the hole first. So I can base the rest of the metal off of the tab. I know some people would make the whole tab first and then drill the hole last. But if you drill the hole off centered, then there's no fixing it because the rest of the tab is made already. And then me, I know when I drill, my drill bits walk. Probably just, I'm not a good with the drill or something, I don't know. Um, so I drill the hole first so then I can base the tab off of that. And that way I can make it symmetric around the hole. So I won't put it right on the edge. I'm going to scoot it in just a little bit. That way, like I said, if the drill bit walks, I'll be able to, I'll have a little extra here that I could grind off to make it even left to right. It should be from center point of the hole to the edge is half inch. So I'll just put it in a little bit. Do my center mark. So then, first thing, I'm going to drill the holes, like I just said. So another one of my techniques, I always start with a pretty small drill bit, because it has less of a chance of walking out of the center point. If I went straight to, you know, a quarter inch or something, the chisel tip on the quarter inch drill bit is probably bigger, I'm almost positive it's bigger than the uh, punch that I made. So this is more likely to stay on the punch uh, center point. And that way I'll have less walking. And again, just stepping up something that the chisel tip will fit in here and not walk around. So I take quite a few steps to get to my final size might take a long, little longer than just going straight to it, but it's just knowing how I drill, this is how I can ensure that I'm going to be closer on the point that I wanted to drill. So I did two steps, or the first pilot, then two more steps after that. Got it pretty close. It's about 20 thousandths under um, 5 sixteenths. I'm going to finish it with a step drill bit. I like these because they drill a nice round hole. If you ever notice, sometimes drill bits kind of do an oblong kind of looking hole. Where a step drill, or if I had them, a reamer will make a nice straight hole. So I like to finish things off with this when able. And I just have tape so I know where to stop. Now, now I'll mark out the curve on each one and then make the one one cut here and then I'll cut them in half. But 
If I can do one cut while they're still together, I'll do that. What I did, I just kept measuring to make both sides the same distance from uh, edge of hole to edge of part. Then I got a flat edge now. I just got to take the burrs off and then uh, cut it in half and do the notch. Actually, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do the rounds on the edges of the uh, tabs before I cut it so I have something to actually hold on to. I'm going to just take like a measurement with my bad calipers. I wouldn't use good calipers to scribe. Let me put the edge right on the hole. So that way you got a radius that's the equal distance all the way around from your bolt hole. Now I just gotta grind to those lines. So I got the radiuses kind of roughed in. And when some people, or maybe you've seen tabs that kind of look kind of like it does here. There's a bit of an edge here and here because when people work it, they're only moving like within these angles or so. But it's a curve, it needs to end up tangent to the straight edge. So take advantage of your plate and then move it all the way to the side. And when you do that, you'll get that tangent edge so it's a nice smooth curve. It doesn't have like a weird point here. round curve that follows the curve this outside curve and the bolt have the same center point so they look nice it's not like I've seen tabs they look pointy because the the edges here are kind of cut off or the bolt hole is a little down so it doesn't really the two circles aren't concentric and it looks a little funny but doing this tangent method and then Drilling the hole first, then scribing the outside line helps me a lot to make uh, better looking tabs. I'll go back and use my wood drill bit at that point. Line up the centers. There we go. and then scribe where that uh, curve should be. I got a light mark. I can always put this uh, washer on. Use a little bit more pressure. And then do the same for the other side. Yeah. 
So now I have my cut line. I'll go ahead and cut those off and grind the, uh, the notch in them. So there's the finished tabs. Got them notched. Just deburred them. Deburred all the other edges and two nice looking tabs. You don't need laser cut, although laser cut's way faster and easier, but if you don't have one, you just have grinder or belt sander or angle grinder, whatever you got, and you can probably make tabs.